The movie opens up showing us a terrifying apparition of a girl on the wall. Melina hits him with her sword. His face is cracked, but he is recovering. What happened to this girl and how did she become a ghost? Next, we see is a flashback. Melina is shown with her husband. She is shown pregnant. They were very pleased with the result. Melina's husband went to work, but his condition worsened. Her husband is the one who drives her to the hospital. Melina gives birth to two children, one of whom dies before birth. Melina is shattered to hear this. She starts crying, and when they get home, Melina names her daughter Flora. She also missed her second child. When Melina's husband tries to remove the onion from it, Melina refuses him and Melina's husband makes her understand that I am also depressed because of the death of our child. We should move on and forget everything. Their maid arrives when Melina's husband leaves. He tells Melina that when an unborn child dies, it often comes close to her home. Welcome to Review Recap. Subscribe for a bit of good luck and enjoy. Then we see a scene five years later. It was Flora's birthday. He was playing with a toy. Meanwhile, Melina and her husband arrive with gifts and a cake. They ask her to put out the candle and Flora sees the candle angrily. There is a strong wind wave. Thanks to this, all the candles in the room go out. After that Flora sits quietly. He starts counting. It can be found here Flora doesn't say anything and doesn't smile. His parents were also worried about it. Melina just wants to make her daughter smile for a moment. Melina slept and dreamed. Where the child played with him. Meanwhile, the spirit of a girl arrives there. The girl's spirit draws the boy to her. Melina gets scared and wakes up. Hearing her screaming voice, her husband also wakes up. They hear voices coming from Flora's room. When they reached his room, he was sleeping peacefully. The door of her room was open and Melina's husband tries to close it. The door opens automatically. They feel it is strange. Melina asks her husband to sleep Flora in our room. Flora sneaks in while they sleep. Melina gets worried when she wakes up and doesn't find Flora there. Melina starts looking for Flora and finds her outside the washroom. Melina thinks maybe she wants to go to the washroom. He leads her to the washroom. Melina didn't come to get the tissue paper when he left her there. The laundry room door closes as she exits. Melina is scared and worried. He tries to open the door. When the door barely opens, Flora asks him to see the mirror. Melina sees a mirror that says everything must die. Melina is surprised to see that. At the same time, Melina's husband also arrives. Melina also tries to show him what was written on the mirror. But her husband sees nothing there. The next day when their maid Flora passed the room. He hears Flora's voice. When he was talking to someone. The maid is surprised and asks Flora to come with her. When he sees Flora talking to someone in the room. There was no one. At the same time, a flash is shown where Flora left with another woman. The next day, Melina's husband takes her to a psychiatrist. He believes that Melina is depressed and anxious because she keeps thinking about the same thing over and over. This is why Melina sees strange things. Melina tells the doctor all the events that happened to her. He says your mental state is unbalanced due to depression. She gets angry hearing this and her husband understands her. To get Melina's attention, he asks her to go on vacation. It improves his mood and he feels good. He forgets everything. After arriving home, while Melina was in her room, the lights turn on and off strangely. Melina moves forward to confirm the light when the spirit of the girl appears before her. Melina gets scared when she sees him and tries to run away. But the soul holds Melina's leg. He collapses there and starts screaming. Hearing her voice, her husband arrives there. Her husband starts checking everything when she tells him to, but he finds nothing. On the other hand, the girl sees Flora. He walked here and there, but the girl asks him to go to her room to sleep. At the same time, the lights in the house go out. Melina's husband goes to check the lights. Melina comes to Flora's room to check on her. He finds Flora sleeping on the bed. He notices a servant standing in front of the room. He looks strange. The maid attacks Melina when she opens the door. He starts squeezing her neck and while doing so, the girl looked terrible. On the other hand, Melina hears her husband's voice. He finds the servant's body when he sees it. He is dead when he falls. Melina's husband finds it strange. He was shocked. He holds out his hand to Melina when she calls to him. When he arrives, he sees Melina lying on the ground. He shouts. The husband comes to his senses and the wife tells him that the maid tried to fire me. When the husband hears, he says that it is not possible. Because he died. Melina is surprised to hear this. He is surprised too. After that, Melina, her husband and Flora go on vacation. Meanwhile, Melina's nurse calls and her husband realizes that his exams are over. 
He asks her to come to him. To take care of Flora. They are enjoying their holidays. But Flora is still silent. He doesn't even talk or smile with anyone. His parents were worried about it. They discussed it in the meantime, Flora disappears from there. While searching for Flora, Melina's husband finds a girl named Bianca. Bianca was the girl who liked Melina's husband years ago. They were married. But they didn't get married for some reason. Bianca continued to wear the ring. Melina's husband wonders why she is not married yet. Bianca didn't exactly respond to that either. Meanwhile, Melina arrives with Flora. Flora is happy to meet Bianca. He starts playing with her. Melina and her husband are happy to see him. They were also shocked, they moved to their room. Flora takes Bianca with her. Flora talks about the first time they had breakfast. He starts talking to Bianca. Melina and her husband are surprised to see this. Because they haven't seen Flora speak for the last five years. Melina believes that Bianca is an angel for them. Here it turns out that Melina's husband's family does not like Bianca. They were against the relationship. They didn't want them to get married. Therefore, their engagement was also broken off. Bianca gave him a gift as a sign of her love. Flora played with the gift all the time. In it, Flora calls her father for the first time. The father is happy to hear about his daughter. They start playing hide and seek. Melina hides in the room. He notices the ghost of the girl again. She gets scared seeing him. He exclaims. When the others arrived, they found no one there. They were returning home from vacation. Flora asks Bianca to move in with them. They also take Bianca with them. Melina's husband takes Bianca to show her room. Bianca says if we get married, these will be mine. He says you will get a more handsome man than me. Now you should forget the past. After that, Melina's sister also arrives. Melina's husband is suspicious of Bianca. She asks him to take care of Melina and Flora. At the same time, Melina arrives. He is happy to see his sister. Melina's sister goes to her room and hears a sound. The door opens automatically when he gets there. He is afraid of it. He sees that Flora was inside. Hearing her screams, Bianca also reaches there. They are surprised to see each other there. When Melina's sister was in the kitchen the next day, she noticed a strange smell. He arrives in Bianca's room chasing the scent. Bianca sat there strangely. His neck twists strangely as he calls out to her. Now Bianca has completely become a ghost. Frightened, Melina's sister contacts Melina. He tells Melina about it. When they arrive to check, Bianca meets them perfectly. Melina's sister gets upset. He tries to get Melina to believe him. She didn't believe him. There, Melina's husband finds a book with black magic written on it. It affects the person who wronged you. This requires an unborn child. A practitioner of black magic must sacrifice his life to use it. He returns again after five years in a human body. Then he is possessed by evil spirits. He burns and dies in the fire. Seeing this, Melina's husband becomes frightened and goes to check the grave of his dead baby. Because he suspects Bianca. She finds nothing in her child's grave. She calls Melina in fear. But Melina does not receive his call. He was sleeping. Melina's sister was in her room and was afraid. He hears Flora laughing. He goes to his room and sets his cell phone to video recording. He notices that Flora was playing with Bianca. Bianca has completely transformed into a ghost. Meanwhile, Melina's husband calls her. That's why Bianca sees him and attacks him. Melina's sister screams when she sees him. Melina's husband is coming home in the car when he hears her screaming. On the other side, Bianca arrives with Melina's sister, crushing her badly. Melina is seen sleeping. He wakes up to find Flora sleeping with him. She notices his red eyes when he wakes her up. Later, Flora attacks her mother. He squeezes his neck. Melina is afraid to see it. He tries to run. During that time, Flora catches him. He hits his head several times. Melina comes out pushing him. He finds his sister dead. He notices that Bianca is clinging to the wall strangely. He looks scary and Melina gets scared when she sees him. He tries to hide by running away from there. He finds the sword. Meanwhile, Bianca arrives and says you kidnapped her from me. You made him your man. Now I take everything from you. Melina attacks him with a sword and cuts his face. But surprisingly it is getting better again. He tries to finish Melina by pressing on her neck. Melina's husband arrives and saves Melina finishing off Bianca. Bianca tells them everything. He took the body of their child. I did black magic with it. According to black magic, I also sacrificed my life. I'm coming back after five years. Here it turns out that he traded the devil girl for their other baby. Flora is not their real daughter. Later, 
Melina and her husband tried to move while sitting in the car. At the same time, they notice Flora in front of the car. Melina's husband tries to get out of the car. Melina informs her that she is not our daughter. He asks her to continue. Flora gets into their car and starts running over Melina. He also tries to squeeze his neck. Flora puts pressure on Melina's man's neck as he tries to free her. As a result, their car goes out of control. They get into an accident, but they are saved. Melina's sister arrives, but Melina tells her husband that she is not my sister. My sister is now dead. Meanwhile, Melina's sister becomes Bianca. He starts laughing like a devil. At the same time, Melina's husband reminds her that the devil can destroy fire. He takes a lighter from his pocket and sets Bianca on fire. He is making a full recovery and everything seems to be back to normal. Now he was in Melina. Melina looked horrified by this. She runs to her husband. Melina's husband looks for her and finds her flying through the air. He reaches the cottage after her. Melina stabs him in the chest. Her husband dumps her. Melina finds a chainsaw. She completely amputated her husband's arm and leg. The Banaka inside him says, bear the pain as I bore the pain of my death. After that, he intended to move to the grave flying in the air. Her husband grabs her and tries to extract positive memories from her. Time spent together. She asks Melina not to let Bianca control her. You have to compete with him. You have to fight him, now Melina is coming to her senses. Bianca is separated from her body. He fell into the tomb and the tomb caught fire. Later, Bianca dies from it. Melina and her husband are shown rescued and in the hospital. The doctor gives them the address of their real daughter. They find their real daughter. They become happy because of it. They bring their daughter home and the movie ends here. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.